Welcome everybody, my name is Jerry, this is Zero to Hero Golf. Today we're going to talk about feeling wrist lag and getting lag in your swing if you've never felt it. And Steve Stricker's very little wrist action actually helped me get a big breakthrough. I'm going to show you how I got this breakthrough and I know it can work for a lot of people. Now it seems counterintuitive because a lot of people see, oh, you got to hold the angle, you got to hold the angles, you got to hold the angles. Well, you know what the problem with that is? If you're just copying what the pros are doing, but you never actually went from no wrist feeling no wrist lag to feeling for the first time in your life, then holding all the angles doesn't mean a thing because you're still not going to know what it feels like. It really helps to go from a place of never feeling it, which is for most people, to actually feeling it. Okay, and that's what we're going to look at in this video. We're not looking at whether or not you should swing like Steve Stricker. We're simply going to use his quiet wrist to help you get a breakthrough just like I got mine. And it really made a big, big difference. Okay, now let's look at two golfers with extreme differences in their wrists. Obviously, Steve Stricker on the right, on the left, sorry, and Freddie Couples on the right. Now, you can see that both their arms are parallel to the ground, right? This is They're in their backswing. Steve Stricker's wrists are flat. There's no wrist break between his thumb on his hand with the glove, right? The, the glove, that hand, the thumb to his forearm. It's straight. There is no wrist break. Look at Freddie Couples. Lots of wrist break. So at the same point in the golf swing, Steve Stricker has very quiet wrists. Fred has very active wrists. Very, his wrists are already cocked. Now, it's true the club that they're both swinging could be a little different. Steve is swinging a six iron. Freddie might be hitting an eight. So there, that, that does come into play a little bit. But I want you to get that what we're trying to accomplish to get your breakthrough and feeling lag for the first time ever is you want to swing like Steve Stricker to get this breakthrough. It doesn't mean you have to swing like him for, your, for the rest of your life. You just need to do it for a while. So you can get this huge breakthrough in wrist lag, okay? So keep that image in your mind. Look at Steve Strick on the left. You want your wrist to be quiet and flat like that. Okay? This is not a video of saying whether Steve is better than Fred or Fred is better than Steve. They both had amazing careers and they're still both playing great golf. So this is not about that. This video is about you feeling wrist lag for the first time in your life. And I'm going to show you how I did it and how I got my breakthrough, okay? And I know this is going to help a lot of people. Look familiar? Look how I've exaggerated holding my wrists. My arms parallel to the ground here, and look at the club. It's sticking straight out. It's not up in the air. Not like Freddie Couples, right? Like Steve Stricker, even more exaggerated. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to exaggerate holding your wrists flat like that. even to the top. Don't cock the wrists. See how the club is almost pointing straight up in the air at the top of my backswing? The shaft is not behind my head parallel to the ground, right? The shaft's almost pointing straight up in the air. The wrists have to stay very quiet to get this breakthrough. Okay, so I want you to think like that, swing like that for now. Okay. Hope you're getting this because this is really important. Now watch, no wrist break at all here. Just going to swing without wrist break. We're not trying to hold any angles necessarily. Very quiet wrist, right? You don't see a big angle in my wrists. You, so you're going to go to the range, you're actually going to hit balls like this. See that? My, now this is the downswing. With my arms parallel to the ground and the club. Some, some people can say, you, I, I've casted. No, I didn't cast. This is a drill. That's me on the left, Freddie Couples on the right. Now clearly I don't have a, a, a successful career like Freddie Couples, and I'm not trying to make that comparison. What I'm trying to get you to understand is, if you want this breakthrough and feeling wrist lag for the first time in your life, you got to do what I'm doing on the left. 
Just swing an over-exaggerated Steve Stricker swing for a while. Don't try to set the wrists. Actually hit golf balls like this. Okay? Plenty of amateurs. I've seen, I've done it myself. Plenty of amateurs that try to hold the angle like you see Freddie Couples doing. But they never actually ever felt wrist lag ever in their life. They're just holding the angle because that's what they've been told to do. And they see all the pros doing it. But the pros don't just get themselves into position of holding, it, holding the angles. They don't manufacture it. It's a result of feeling where the change of direction is and the club head feeling light. You've got to get to the place where you know in your swing where the club head feels weightless. And that's only for a very small moment. And I'm going to show you that coming up in a minute. I'm going to show you the breakthrough. Okay? But for now, I want you to swing and actually hit balls with the swing you see on the left. Just keep those wrists real quiet. Don't do what Freddie's doing. You can do what Freddie's doing later. But you first got to know what it is to feel wrist lag. <laughs> Once you know what wrist lag is and once you feel it for the first time, you'll, you'll always want to do it. And once you know what it is, you'll be able to pour it on, meaning you can really pour on the lower body action and make maximum use of that wrist lag, okay? So think like the left for now. Did you see it? Look at the wrists. What are they doing? That's the breakthrough right there, guys. What you don't want to do is go to the range and try to do that move right there at the top that you're seeing my wrist do. What you want to do is do everything I showed you in this video before this. Go to the range. Just hit balls with really quiet wrists. Don't try to create this little swagger move you see me doing. That comes later after hitting a couple hundred balls or maybe even a week of hitting balls with really quiet wrists. Then you do this. And this move right here will change everything. This little move helped me figure out and feel the, the club had become weightless and exactly where in my swing was it happening. But if you just try to go to the range and do this right away, forget it. You'll never feel wrist lag. Okay, let's look at the whole thing. Okay, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and give a thumbs up and click that notification bell so you get videos that I put out. I really hope this helps a lot of people. I know a lot of people have never felt wrist, wrist lag. Go back, watch this video again. Pause it where you need to pause it. Swing like Steve Stricker, super quiet hands. Do that for a while and then practice that little swagger move and feel where that transition is going to happen for you. And I guarantee once you do that, you can pour on the speed with your bo lower body and start hitting the ball a long way. Talk to you all again soon, next time.